to uh, quite a name. But this particular person um, was put onto New Start because her husband lost his job, and then um, she was she was then also put onto New Start allowance. She's pregnant with a high risk pregnancy that's been documented as a high risk pregnancy. I'll cut to the chase where she was with the job service provider and the response was, so you are refusing, and she had a medical certificate. Unfortunately, the doctor at one stage put the wrong date on it, put the date the previous year, even though it was obvious that she wouldn't have been pregnant the previous year. So that was a problem um, that took a while to iron out. But the job service provider said, so you are refusing to participate in a required activity. No, no, I'm not. I'm not refusing to, I can't. So you are saying you can't walk around at work for the doll, yet you walked from the waiting room to here. Um, that was the response. Now, I've got to say, that's not the first time I've heard pretty damning uh, evidence of the way job service providers are responding to people when they're going back to the issue around DSP, so they asked to earlier. Into any of, I mean, it's difficult for us to comment on an incident that we don't have the details of. We're happy to I, look into it if you refer it to us. I appreciate that. The point here is the bigger picture. Is And I'm not for one minute labelling all job service providers as being poor providers. Obviously, we hear the complaints, but they have definitely gone up. We heard, and I'm not going to go back and ask questions about the Ombudsman's report other than saying, you, would, you, you yourselves admitted complaints have gone up and the Ombudsman's report has indicated complaints that have gone up. Some of them are, are consistent that we've heard before, but the numbers have gone up. Where is the clear, is there clear guidance, I'm presuming there is, clear guidance to providers not to treat people like this? Um, and these, these people, like she's, you know, this particular lady sounds like she's at a wit's end about how to respond. They've, some people have never had contact with job service provider or Centrelink before. They're put into this position and they feel helpless. 